Uh, good morning. Happy Saturday. It's a rainy one. Grand Rapids hasn't seen the showers settling quite yet, but Holland in just the last 30 minutes has seen over a tenth of an inch of rain. So it's a pretty good clip of showers here as the sun uh, rises in about uh, 14, 15 minutes here in West Michigan. And uh, the rain is going to persist right in through the morning hours, as well as the cloud cover for most of the day as well, whether you see rain or not. Grand Rapids, again, no showers quite yet. In about 15 minutes, though, I think it's going to change in the downtown area. Steady rain from South Haven along the lakeshore down over to Three Rivers. That's headed pretty much due east. So cold water in areas along I-69 still got more rain on the way. Hastings just getting into some steady rain. Notice downtown Grand Rapids leading edge of it just south and west of downtown. Holland again already over a tenth of an inch. Muskegon now several hundredths of an inch of rain there. Visibility dropped as that rain moved in down to five in Holland, five in Benton Harbor, five in cold water. But as that heaviest rain moves in, we're going to see the fog and the leading edge kind of move up to the north and east where temperatures now are 50 degrees in Benton Harbor, 49 in Kalamazoo. We're at 38 in Grand Rapids, 34 in Greenville. So cooler air where it's not raining, much milder where those showers have moved in. Winds, thankfully, fairly light out of the south and east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Not going to be overly breezy with this system, but on the back side of it, winds will pick up a little more as we go through the afternoon, but still only 10 to 15. So the leading edge of this rain now into Grand Rapids, but the back end of it already approaching the Benton Harbor area. So Berrien County, Van Buren County and Cass County will be the first to see this rain wrap up. And a lot of it is already expected to turn lighter here in the next hour or so. We'll see most of the rain wrap up by about one o'clock and then a lingering shower into the two, three o'clock hour, but it's not going to be much in terms of rain after noon. As we head into Sunday, Easter is going to start with a little bit of sunshine, but cloud cover will re-increase through the afternoon hours. We should be dry to start before the rain moves in around seven, eight o'clock. Notice by 10 o'clock, it is some steady rain here settling into the Grand Rapids area. So this is going forward. How much more rain could we see between the eight o'clock hour and when the rain leaves? And it's another eh, quarter of an inch of rain in a lot of spots. We've already seen over a quarter inch uh, down in the Kalamazoo area and expected to really persist here over the next couple of hours. So we catch that hiatus into Sunday morning, but Sunday night more rain develops. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, widespread showers and notice the pink. We are anticipating some snow to settle in as well. The ground is still warm, so a lot of the snow that we do see will be short lived. But if we get what is anticipated to be a pretty wet, heavy snow, well, we could see some brief accumulations. And with that mixing in with some rain, it's going to be the coldest day of the forecast. But 50s everywhere else. And that snow is going to be the only little blip in what is going to be a warm up here in the longer term. Eight to 14 day outlook. It's looking pretty nice to the first weekend of April and beyond. Average highs getting into the 52, 53 degree range. A little cooler for the midweek, but it looks like 50s and maybe even some 60s by next.